Hello and welcome to Outlook 2010 modifying a contact group temporarily. Okay, in this short video tutorial we're going to be talking about uh, sending, it, sending an email out to a group uh, or distribution list that we have created in our Outlook. And the scenario is, you know, how many times have you wanted to send an email out to a group or needed to and uh, only to find out that there's one or two people in that group that you don't want to send the email to for whatever the reason. Maybe they're uh, upper level management or something like that and you want to exclude them from that group or distribution list. So oftentimes I've found that students have gone in and removed them, those um, uh, contacts from the group and only to have to replace them when they're done sending it. Well, I'm going to show you a quick way to do this without um, uh, modifying the um, the distribution list or group list permanently. We're going to temporarily modify it. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to come up and create our email and we want to send this to our sales group, for example. I'm going to click to and click OK and here's our sales group. Well, to modify this, because I want to exclude one particular person from this list, but I don't want to have to go into the sales group and remove them uh, and only have to add them later. So I'm going to temporarily do this. There's a little plus sign here, or I, this little plus sign also has a name of expand indicator. I'm going to click this. Outlook tells me, well, if you expand this, um, you will not be able to collapse it again. And that's okay. I'm going to click OK because it doesn't affect the actual group in the contacts list. It just opens up that contact list for me so that now it displays not the group itself but the individual uh, contacts within that group. So from here I can go in and remove rows here from the contact list and then I can go on to create my subject and my body of text, my email message itself, and then send it. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for joining me.